Start by checking to make sure all the parts are there for assembly. Then install the right hand side drive motor. Simply slips onto the drive axle. Next install the right rear drive wheel. And then a metal washer and then a nylon lock nut. This tightened by hand for now. Then repeat the same steps for the motor installation on the left hand side. Install the left hand wheel, washer, and then lock nut. Next hold on one side with the supplied lock nut keys and tighten on the other. This way the axle won't slip as you're tightening it. Next install the plastic bushing into the front inside of the wheel then put a metal washer on the axle followed by the front wheel followed by another metal washer and then just install the metal lock nut and tighten with the hand wrench do the same steps for the other side also remember whenever you tighten up the front wheels make sure to not over tighten them that way the wheels can turn freely without any stress next install the metal steering rod in through the steering motor and up through the vehicle body and dash. Careful not to damage any of the wiring underneath the dash. Line it up and put it through the loophole of the steering system. Then install a metal washer and then a cotter pin to hold it in place. Bend the cotter pin on both sides. Next slide the actual steering wheel onto the steering rod and install the machine screw through and then the lock nut. Next, it's time to hook up the vehicle wiring. Start by connecting the drive motor wires, as you can see here in the video. These are the ones, as you can see, with the white connectors. Then, most importantly, connect the battery cable wire. This is the red wire going to a fuse box. Simply plug it into the connector under the battery cover. Next, it's time to install the motor heat shields. These require four Phillips screws on each side. Now at this point, it's time to test the remote control system. Simply put batteries in the remote and screw the antenna in. Next, make sure the car is powered up and put it on RC mode. Then take your remote control and check to make sure it goes in forward and reverse. Then check the front steering control to see if that works. Some of the final steps include installing the side view mirrors, and then also the four hubcaps on each wheel, and finally the seat. At this point, it's a good time to go ahead and check all the functions of the car and then commence charging. Thanks for watching and enjoy your new car.